Okay, it's time to switch the keys. Don't take Max. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> I think we fully broke their door. I don't even know if we can close it right now. Oh my gosh, what's, there's, there's what's happening? There's lots of beeps happening. There's one more thing that we have never shown the internet. Good morning guys. We have a very exciting vlog today. We have met up with fellow YouTubers and currently van lifers, Kara and Nate. Mm -hmm. And we are gonna swap vehicles for the day. They've got a long wheelbase sprinter van all decked out and we're gonna let them come and live in our schoolie. Yeah, so we're swapping, we're about to swap keys, give each other tours. Nate's gonna try to drive our bus for the first time. And I'm excited to see what it's like living in a van. I yeah. feel like it's such a different experience and yeah, it's gonna be amazing. I'm Raya. And I'm Louie. And we spent the first three years of our relationship traveling the world full time. And now we have embarked on our greatest adventure yet. We moved into a converted school bus and are planning to do one last epic tour of the US before we drive all the way down to our land in an eco community in Costa Rica. Subscribe to follow our adventure. Kara and Nate, thanks for coming up with this idea. This is pretty cool. It should be a lot of fun. Well, yeah. I think we're getting the better end of this deal. <laughs> <laughs> so, where are we heading? Because we're going on a little road trip together, right? So, I found like a farm that kind of has like a, a petting zoo or something. I don't know. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> should be a fun backdrop for the whole video. Before we head off, we're going to do a little tour of each vehicle. Yeah, show us the van. First off, the door is a little sensitive. Okay. We recently <laughs> lost the track down here. If you want to like hop in yeah. and take a quick peek at your home. I wow. love it. It's so cute. It is. <laughs> you can't quite fit. Yeah, I guess you can't even <laughs> fit there. I can kind of, no, I can kind of slouch down. Yeah. Shift. Like if I shift my butt all the way forward in the chair, I think this is Oh, cool. y'all look good this in is here. Perfect. So you are currently sitting in the living room slash dining room slash mm -hmm. office slash bedroom. Okay. All at once. Honestly, we always leave it as a bed and I haven't done this in so long. You pretty much just loosen it up and the top of the table comes off. That just kind of lays on the floor. So the nice. table turns into your bed and then there's also another piece of plywood right here. So that kind of fills it in. And then you just take these two cushions and then just push them in. Wow. And then uh, there's your bed wow. for the night. Keep the sheets right up here okay. in this closet. Oh, and our pillows are... Oh, yeah. <laughs> in here. <laughs> nice. Well, this is the worst part of the van. So yeah, yeah so... if you want to slide past. <laughs> We're just oh, wow. small enough to where if we really need to, we can. <laughs> I've gotten to the point where if Nate's in the van, I just don't get anything done. We have this beautiful kettle. It's like my prized possession in the van. Does that take a lot of power? It does. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say, like, how does that work on the batteries? Yeah, so after it gets to like boiling, don't let it keep going and yeah. lose all the batteries. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is my little coffee basket. We have a Chemex, so you'll put the beans in here. Hand grind, get yeah. a little workout in the morning. And then on the left side are all the smoothie goodies. So you're welcome to use Woo! any of these goodies. This is like our pantry. Yeah. <laughs> this happens every time. So if you've been driving, you have to open it like this. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. just catch whatever comes out. The sink works like a normal sink. I'm big on smells. You know, when we're in this small space sweating together, I like to keep oils going. Mm -hmm. So you're welcome to use my diffuser. All my oils are in your toiletry drawer. Nice. Right here. And then this is drinking water. So when you want to drink, Ooh. that's what we drink need. Out yeah, this that's tap. amazing. That, it's like 75 bucks off Amazon and the filter sits under the sink and yeah, it just gives you a lot more peace wow. of mind. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Are you making a mental that. list of yeah. things we need to add? Definitely not. Okay. <laughs> so, this is our kitchen stuff. We have bowls and plates and Nutribullet. So here's your huge oh, fridge. Okay. We have chocolate for you. <laughs> <laughs> and then even better if you'll lean over oh, the, little, no. the little white door. That's the freezer. The top <gasps> is your freezer. How do you make smoothies? Well, you have ice, so there's, oh, okay. there's oh, ice cubes in there. Wait, is this even? So you should be able to flip up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay well, yeah. So take a knife and just. We'll just chip away at that. I'm gonna give a, a little bathroom tour. This might be the highlight of. Uh, this is right. Yeah. This is probably Raya's most exciting part of the van, right? Yeah. So Definitely this is... I can get away with not showering for a few days and... Yeah, I don't do that. <laughs> yeah, so we don't use our shower very often. Okay. So I'll give you a little tour of the whole bathroom. We'll start with yeah. the toilet. Mm -hmm. Do you have a compost? We yeah, have the exact have the same, same one. toilet. Oh, okay, perfect. We end up using this as our closet a lot of the time. We're <laughs> okay. really bad at showering. So in the shower... Works like a normal shower. You'll turn this on, but you just need to make sure you move all the clothing that's in here. The hot water heater is not on. Okay. How do you feel about cold showers? 
I mean, it's hot out, so it's fine. <laughs> we have a 40 gallon water tank. Okay. I think you could both take a shower and use the sink yeah. and yeah. not run out. There's one more thing that we have never shown the internet. I'm gonna blame this on Eamon and Beck. They're <laughs> the ones that encouraged us to install this and it's honestly been a little life changing. Inside of the bathroom, Yeah. we call this the pee funnel. <gasps> It's uh, unisex. Guys and girls can both use the pee funnel. Okay. And, it's like uh, a shiwi. It's a she. So it is a shiwi that we bought off Amazon, and then went to a hardware store and bought this pipe and extended it, and it goes all the way to the ground. So it just pees outside, basically. Just, yeah, it's yeah, it's just like peeing outside. <laughs> so like, not appropriate to use in all scenarios, but like if you're parked over grass and you want to use it like a time or two and not fill up your liquids tank in the front of your composting toilet. We need one of those so badly. Yeah, Would you, cool. have you used a Shiwi before? I have not. Okay, That's this could be our first time. Yeah. So I feel like a lot of people who do van life have what they call a garage. This is just like our junk room. Okay. As you can see with the stuff literally falling out. If you like, just want to take the doors completely out of sight, you just push it in and then you can pull this thing out and the door actually comes all the way Oh, back. no way. <laughs> this is a, a bug net. Okay. And it's magnetic. And then this is our water fill up. If you needed to plug the van in and you had electricity, yep. you can just plug it in right there. The great news is though, we have three 100 watt solar panels on top. And we also installed an inverter charger so the van charges when it drives. Nice. In between those two things, we have not plugged the van in this year. And then this is kind of the, wow. the rest of the electrical setup. That's a huge inverter. So we have four uh, gel batteries that okay. are all under here. And then this is the switch if you do want hot water for your shower. This bottom one right here, you can just flip that and that turns the hot water heater on. This is a two and a half gallon hot water heater. This is our 40 gallon fresh water tank and then this is just the water pump that sends it to the shower. Sweet. I don't know if you have any home security in your van. But if someone does happen to break into the van in the night, first line of defense is the panic button. If that doesn't work. I wonder what it is, crowbar, baseball bat? Second line of defense is pepper, pepper spray. spray. Okay. I feel like everybody in the van is going to be crying, but hopefully like it deters that person and it doesn't come to a physical altercation. Nice. It does come to that. Next, taser. Then you have oh, knife. knife. Oh. Just in case you want to stab That's someone. That's like, can't, yeah, if it comes, if it... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think we have anything like that in the bus, but okay. <laughs> there's like kitchen knives if you yeah. want to stab someone. I have my lap desk, which is like mm. my pride and joy. I thought I would always sit up here and work with this swivel seat that we installed. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you I'll gotta you, show. I'll get you started. The struggle. I've never not been able to get this. I know! <laughs> Oh. oh, so it has to go all the way yeah, back. Yeah, so it's back, back and then it's gonna slide okay. forward. I was thinking it was all the way forward. Here we go. And it was super easy. Woo! <laughs> no problem. So this really helps like open up the space. You know, when you're parked, you can sit here, you can use your lap desk. All right, and that's about it as far as the home goes and notes in charge of everything up here. You're gonna teach me how to drive the bus, so I'm gonna teach you how to drive the van. You take the key out of your pocket, <laughs> open it up, it drives just like a normal car. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing the driving experience is gonna be a lot more enjoyable for you and yes. the van than the bus, but I feel like once we get parked, we have the upper hand after this. Yeah, <laughs> okay, it's time to switch the keys. Don't take Max. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> Good luck. Bye. You too. How's it going? Yeah, great. We're gonna stop off for some food and to fill up gas and stuff. And then I think we've got an hour's drive campsite. Which I'm really looking forward to. Yeah. AC, podcast, just love and life. We get to hang out. Yeah. We, don't, <laughs> we, we don't, get to hold hands. We don't get to hang out when we're when we're in the bus because I'm on the front in the front on my own. Yeah. It's the best. I love it. <laughs> we didn't really think ahead when we were grabbing food, so the van has a lot less space than the bus in the fridge and stuff, so we're gonna see how much we can fit in. Ooh, okay, it's pretty full already. And the milk? Yeah. Oh, we're good, we're good. Is there much more? And just the mushrooms. Yeah. We, we just fit. I think we fully broke their door. I mean, it was, they were saying it was broken and they were trying to fix it, but I don't even know if we can close it right now. What's going on? I think we broke the door. Oh no. It's like super jammed. Oh, this is pretty broken. 
<laughs> Coming to let you know that you're not gonna get away with giving your strawberries to us. Oh no. These have to fit in your fridge. These are huge. <laughs> no. Does that fit? Wait, maybe. Did you get them? No. Okay, pass me that. What's okay, this? we're gonna give this back to you then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's getting hot. The sun came out. I know we're gonna say it a bunch of times, but this is exactly what having air conditioning while you're driving just makes such a big difference. It's like, I think it's like 85 degrees right now or something. Woo! Let's pump that AC, baby! <laughs> oh, I, I feel really bad for them. I know. arrived at this location where we're parking. And the maximum length they've said is 35 feet and the school bus is 50 feet. We were going to be fine in this van because this is only 22 feet. But the lady's coming now. I'm going to see if she's like chill or whether she's going to say it's too big. Oh no, she's opening the gate. That's a good sign. Oh, good. This is brave. This is super brave of um, Nate. Just Ooh. Look at that. Ooh, that is a tight squeeze through that so gate. Llamas? <laughs> what? <gasps> wow. What is this place? Oh my gosh. This is our dream. Hi. Hi. Do we want your Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> They're like little puppies. I know. What the heck? Look at this tiny one. You look good in there. Before we do anything else, I'm gonna make a little coffee. We're just gonna try to remember how to make this into a couch again with the table so we can sit. Nice. Yeah. This is really nice. Yeah. The seating area. This is French fry, and he's gonna come hang out with us for a little okay, bit. Just, I got you. I got you. <laughs> oh. She said we could just hang on to this one for a little bit. Hi, <laughs> baby boy. This is French fry. French fry. <laughs> oh, it looks like he's smiling. <laughs> Feeding time. Feeding time. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh. So excited. Okay. Wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's crazy. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Milk is almost gone. Yeah. We've just been told we're allowed to steal French fry <laughs> and spoon French fry in bed with us. <laughs> We'll, we'll ask these guys first though. <laughs> we approve. We've, uh, we we've approved swapped vehicles for the day. <laughs> yeah. So they're sleeping in like, we approve oh, and Nate's no. like, no, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> <don't> <laughs> You're being followed by some alpacas. <laughs> One of them kind of got a pep in his step. Cheers. New friends. Thank yeah. you. Coming home. I Thanks know. For coming over, didn't get a chance. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thanks for having us. <laughs> yeah. Just whipped it up myself. <laughs> Yo, 
try to eat my dress. Okay. Hey, look. Wait, I've got some food for you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, French fry? That's we're having dinner on there. You can't put your poo your hooves all over that. I should probably clean this even. Is it stressing you out? Yeah, a lot. We just French fries. It's already such a tight space. I'm trying to film. Outside. There's like goat hair flying everywhere. It's just not a nice experience. Mm. As much as I wanted French Fry to come and live in the van with us, I don't think it's possible because he was shedding hair everywhere and it got a bit too much and stressful. So, I'm trying to cook. Yeah, Brian needs to cook the food. I'm kind of sad, but I get it. I understand. I can remember where everything was. So I think the pan, yes. Okay, the pan was in here. I'm trying to figure out like where do I cut things? Like it's just Maybe here. It's very tight. Yeah, but then I have to like turn around to put them in. I think this will be fine. A lot of the meals that I cook in the bus are like a lot of ingredients for cooking like a huge portion and I, I would not be able to do that here. I'm um, trying to remember where the knives. I literally I have to like step into the shower to open this door. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they must have some sharp knives. Wait, he's got his self-defense knife. Shall I grab that? Um, no. Oh wait, okay, okay, I found it. Wow, all right. I guess like every van is such a different layout, but I'm not sure how I feel about this sticking out so much. You want more room? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, that click shouldn't be to do with the you turn the gas on. We can't figure out how to turn the Hobbs on. Like the the not the click the click is not working like the little spark thing. Do you have a little lighter or something? Oh yeah, you have to use a lighter. Then with the silverware. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. There's that stuff by the coffee pot. By the coffee pot. What the heck? hosting dinner tonight because this table is the only table that seats four people around it even though we've got more space in the bus um, it's getting very hot in here though so I'm I've just cracked open the back doors in the van which is probably my favorite feature is literally having this whole open the outside kind of space which we don't have anything like this in the bus um, but I'm gonna put up this like insect net so we don't attract too many bugs So I just realized I've been washing dishes as if we have a 125 gallon tank. I don't know if we can check the water level somewhere, but at the end of the night we should check and make sure we can shower. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you. Our guests have arrived. Well, I guess we're guests in the van, but anyway. <laughs> this is You're our guest tonight. Yeah. <laughs> we're guests in our own van. I'm bearing peppers. I made the like cream corn and the mushroom vegan mince meat. Then what did you guys yeah, cook up? Burnt black beans <laughs> <laughs> brought over. I made the guacamole, which I would like to think is my specialty. It's my favorite mm. thing. Nice. And the peppers. Should they give us a little I taste test? Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah? There's layers of flavor. finished our meal, we're gonna have some dessert in a bit, but before we do, we're just having a little interlude to play some banana grams. Mm. Or banana grams. Yeah, I was just asking if everyone's competitive and it sounds like everyone <laughs> is just as competitive as everyone Friendships else, so. may end tonight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Done. No! Banana grams. No! Wait, check, check my words though. Shoot! We've come back to the bus. We had appetizers here, dinner, the van, and then back here for dessert. And what are you making? 
this is literally the easiest, most delicious, amazing dessert ever. It's just frozen banana, oat milk, and cacao. Super healthy. Yeah. We'll see you in the morning. We're gonna crawl have, our big comfy bed. Have an amazing yes. first night in the bus. <laughs> so excited. <laughs> Sleep well. Thanks, you too. Oh, nice purple vibes. Oh yeah. So okay. good. Okay. Oh. Okay. Night. Night. <laughs> Good morning. I don't know if you could hear the rooster, but good morning. Uh, how did you sleep? I slept okay. I I kind of had some crazy dreams, but I normally do if I'm sleeping in new places. But mm. the bed was comfortable. It yeah, was it comfortable. wasn't too bad. They they told they warned us that it's very uncomfortable. Maybe it is after a few nights, but it wasn't bad for one night. And this fan is a game changer. <laughs> we don't have a fan like this in the bus and I woke up like feeling really nice and cool and like oh I feel like they don't feel this way in the bus so we'll see. But the best thing about waking up in the van is these doors right here which Check these out. Oh, it's just such an epic way to wake up. I mean you're surrounded by greenery. Oh wow. <sighs> Wow. Wow. Best thing oh, about yeah. the van for sure. Oh my gosh, this is great. Do you like the views, Raya? Yeah. This is the best. Time for my morning coffee. We haven't actually used the toilet in the van yet. Louis peed outside last night. I haven't gone to the bathroom yet. I kind of feel like I'm holding it in because I don't know, it kind of feels weird like using someone else's toilet. I don't want them to clean out my pee after, but I guess we're going to have to. <laughs> oh, okay, it is really cold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you want me to turn the hot water on? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I need to flick this thing on. Okay, so that's heating the hot water now. Do you think I have to wait? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Trying my best to preserve water. But it's also freezing, so that helps. Okay. <laughs> oh! No! No! Give it a second. <laughs> Nothing? Oh, no. Is it warm yet, Raya? No. <laughs> I just heard a beep coming from under there, and I think that means the water's hot. But this is like 10 minutes later. Yeah, I've finished. Oh my gosh, what's, there's, there's what's happening? There's lots of beeps happening. I think it's because we put the hot water here, on. Oh. What does it say? Uh, empty battery. Oh no. <laughs> what have we done? Will the, will the pump even work for the shower? Oh, I don't know. Oh, it's warm. It's actually hot. Oh. Yay! <laughs> we literally killed the entire battery, battery for, this for you to have a 30 second warm shower. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really worried that we've just drained the battery and we can't make smoothies, but I think the hot shower was worth it. I forgot to put the curtain on the inside and it leaked everywhere. All right, time to undo the bed. We've reset the bedroom area into a dining area and now we're gonna make our morning smoothies. I have one concern that the hot water fiasco that drain the battery might mean that the battery's too empty to like use the neutral bullet, but let's see. So the only thing is we always add frozen fruit to our smoothies to make them cold, but their freezer is tiny and can't fit frozen fruit. So we're gonna do ice. Wow, the ice is like built up, okay. I think those are those ice cubes people put in their like whiskeys and stuff. Success. The question is, you were saying you don't really poop in the toilet, but I really need to poop. And I and I I feel like if I do, then you, there'll just be one poop left and then needs to clean out. <laughs> so the other option is I just go and poop in our toilet because I'm gonna be pooping in that anyway. Uh Kara has already pooped in your toilet. Okay, okay. I feel better about that. You wanna try out ours? Yeah, you could fit I, I honestly, better. I think it'll be a little more comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. My feet are wet. It's so weird. I'm standing in the shower, there's still water in here. <laughs> 
All right, it is the end of our van life experience, 24 hours living in a van, and we're gonna list some of our pros and cons that we've experienced living here. So my number one pro is having the back doors open up so we can just hang out in nature and just have this amazing outdoor, indoor space. My number one pro is the front section, the fact that we both have seats, we can sit next to each other, it's quiet, and we can talk while we're driving. Fuel's way cheaper. Mm -hmm drives faster, just more reliable and nicer driving. This table, having a table for four people yeah. so we can have dinner. Air conditioning while driving, game changer. Also this fan above the bed was like so cool to sleep mm. here last night and I'm sure they were sweating over there. And then probably one of the biggest pros is how easy it is to park because when you live in a vehicle, you don't really want people knowing that you're sleeping inside and these windows are blacked out. It just looks like a white van from the outside. So it's like you can blend in much easier. <laughs> All right, let's go on to our least favorite things. So I'd say the size for the outside and for parkings a pro, but then the size it's like a pro and a con because the con is like when you're inside, like we can't even move past each other. There's really no space. There's just one big room basically. Yeah. But it's like I didn't anticipate to feel it this much, but it really, especially cooking was super tough. Like the kitchen's super small, the fridge is tiny and yeah, like, see, like if one person's doing something, the other person can't really do anything but sit on the bed. Having to make the bed every time you want to transform it from a dining room kind of work area into a bedroom is a bit of a pain. We don't usually go to bed at the same time. Like Louie might stay up editing or working for hours after me. So I can't really do that here because mm. the bedroom and office and everything is the same space. They have significantly less water and you have to be like really selective with your water. And then I'd say finally a con for me is like, I love our roof deck and not having that extra outdoor space to go and hang out on is sad. At the end, what would you say, if we were starting from scratch, would you get a van or a bus? Mm, yeah. No, what would you do? Oh, me? <laughs> yeah. I, I prefer the bus. It's got more character. I think it's more unique, and I lean more into like wanting to do unique things. I think I would also say a bus, because it, honestly, that bus really feels like a home to mm. me. And this kind of feels like a fun road trip vehicle, but I don't know if I would necessarily feel like at home in a van. But definitely let us know what you guys think. And something interesting, we actually paid very similar amounts for yeah. the bus and the van. So if you were starting from scratch with the same amount of money, what would you choose? Yeah, let us know in the comments. We're gonna head over to the bus now and hear what Karen and Nate think of living in a school bus. Knock, knock. <laughs> hey, you may come into our home. <laughs> Uh -oh. Yeah. oh, hey! Good morning! Sorry, you were there. How was your night <laughs> in the bus? Oh my gosh. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. I feel like we've been like at a spa. Yeah. It was a tad bit warm. Yes. We had to choose between whether we wanted to sleep with bugs or whether we wanted to sleep in the heat, and we chose the heat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I did rearrange your furniture to set up the fan. What would you say is your favorite and least favorite thing about living in the bus? My favorite thing and my least favorite thing is the size. Yeah, the fact that we can like move around and just not run into each other mm -hmm. is huge. Like, it's clearly more comfortable and luxurious and just has that cool factor mm -hmm. that the van doesn't have. Nobody's ever like waved to us and given us the thumbs up in the van. <laughs> yeah, but we got like, that yesterday in the bus. Yeah. My least favorite thing is also the size because one, I rode like this, like, <laughs> 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 which I, I think you would get used to driving it, but also just the the fear of not fitting somewhere. Mm -hmm. Like we're so last minute and we'll just kind of like whip off the interstate and not think anything of it. But like there are some places that we just wouldn't be able to go. So for me, I think my favorite part was this morning when I came up here and I set my computer here and Kara was still in the bed drinking coffee. And then I sat here and I did a little work with my coffee mm -hmm. and I didn't have to convert a bed or move mm -hmm. the sheets or anything mm -hmm. like that. My least favorite part was the heat. Yeah. I think because it's so buggy around here, in order to keep the windows open, we would have needed screens. Mm -hmm. So if I was gonna live in here full time, I'd have to figure out some kind of screen system. Mm -hmm. My summary would be that when you're driving it, the van is far superior. Mm -hmm. When you're living in it, the bus mm -hmm. is superior. Yeah, I was saying, if you're just doing a road trip, like moving really quickly, a van makes more sense. But if you're like, I'm gonna move into a vehicle for years, this is way, this feels like a home to me. That's like a road trip. For yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah. So one final question. 
Does the swap in now? Who has to drive the bus? That's what I was thinking. <laughs> I'm happy to drive the bus back if you want. I feel like we've done good for the little amount of things that we've broken. We should probably swap back. Yeah, now let's do it. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, so that has been the end of our kind of experience swapping vehicles. If you want to check out Karen and Nate's video of their experience in the bus, then <laughs> click here now. We'll link them. They've got an amazing channel. And we'll see you next time. If you want to see me profusely sweating trying to drive the bus. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs>